This is the Definitely Uncertain Podcast, brought to you by Gold Rock Capital. Each week, we look at how high net worth families can improve their lives, decisions, and investments in a deeply uncertain world. We always aim to provide practical information, even if we can't offer specific investment advice. This is the Definitely Uncertain Podcast, and my name is Darren Rockman, and I'm a partner with Gold Rock Capital, the more than 20-year-old multifamily office servicing high net worth families in Israel and around the world. And today on the podcast, Carter Malloy, CEO and founder of AcreTrader, is coming to us from Arkansas in the United States. Hi, Carter. Hey there. Thanks for having me today. Hey, thanks for coming on. I really appreciate it. Um, So so this is going to be a a really uh, interesting uh, podcast, one I'm looking forward to. Um, Carter, you'll tell us a little bit about your background and how you got into the business of investing in, of all things, farmland. So I, I grew up here in Arkansas, where, where I live today. I uh, spent about a dozen years as a professional equity investor, most recently at a, a larger long short fund. In the background of that, and for some background of me, I grew up in a farming family. So my, my dad's a, in, in farming and has been my whole life. So always had this real affinity for farmland. I think growing up, I knew it as a place, and then eventually learned that oh, it's a place where we grow lots and lots of food. But it wasn't until later in life, I, where I was working professionally in equities, that I began investing in farmland and recognized it as this pretty incredible asset class. So that's really how we got here today. Is a personal passion of mine and has been for most of my life. Wow, fantastic! Yeah, that that, that that's amazing. Okay. Now, in the real estate market, we've seen that you know even in you know your or my history, you know, at least one boom and bust cycle uh, leading up to the two thousand eight crisis, and then post, um, and then potentially some really big movements in uh, real estate now with the changes that are happening in office uh, in the office market and and, and perhaps in other sectors of, of the market. Do you see the same wild swings in in farmland? Wild swings, probably not, right? Well, well, there are certainly like real vacillations in in price over time with any market. One of the more intriguing things about farmland is that we do not see those wild swings. Uh, In the early 80s, there was a big one, big leverage driven uh, and been a part of the farm economy. But as a whole, that's what's most intriguing to me as an investor about farmland or one of the many things is the consistency of that appreciation. It's, look, we're not in a get rich quick scheme out here, right? Like, you rarely will ever hear somebody saying, I doubled my money last year in farmland. Right, right. right. But, but you also, you don't hear the inverse of that very often, which is I lost all my money in farmland. And right. so what we're looking for is that consistent compounding effect over time. Okay. So um, as what you're saying is um, high, nice returns, but not as much uh, volatility, not as much downside. What, what, what are the, some of the risks though for somebody that's, willing to think uh, about buying some farmland. Yeah, just, just like any any investment versus like history is not always the uh, determinant of what's to come next, right? So uh, there are there are macro risks involved. There are uh, commodity price risks involved. There, and again, to, to make sure we call out, we're not necessarily in the farming business. We're in the business of owning land and renting to farmers. But nonetheless, there, there can be commodity risk over time. Perhaps one of the greater risks out there it's just underwriting risk. And I think that's true with just about any any type of asset. By their own ones, you can be at a really bad place. So that's a, a big part of what our team does here is really focus on trying to identify interesting investment opportunities to bring to our website. Okay. And, and what does an interesting piece of farmland look like? What, how do you distinguish that from an uninteresting piece of farmland? Uh, there's quite a bit. The, the idiosyncrasies between literally one parcel and the one next door can be pretty dramatic in this industry and pretty large price discrepancy as well. So it, it is quite a unique and a large challenge to, to go through. But ultimately, what we're looking for really is like good, good climate, right? So a good, good place to grow things, mm-hmm. good soils and good water, and then a good financial profile, right? So you can have a great quality farm that's too expensive, and that usually is the case. Uh, you right. can also have a very poor quality farm that's not cheap enough. And so uh, making sure you, you uh, measure against the, the financial profile and, and that financial profile is a little more nuanced. It's not just the actual price. It's the price per point of, of the soil score, as an example. It's what does the local tenant work it look like? And that, are there enough renters there if your farmer retires that there's somebody else to come move on the land? Uh, oh, and there's about 100 variables our team looks at 
at any individual farm coming to the platform. Right, right. Fantastic. Well, that that was hugely interesting and eye opening. I, I had no idea uh, prior to this that you know, this was such a you know, different and and um, you know, developing market and you know, such a big market as well. So, so Carter Malloy, thank you very, very much for coming on to the Definitely Uncertain podcast. Thank you, Dan. Great. And uh, you have a, a great day in, in Arkansas. And uh, thanks for all of you out there uh, are watching and listening. Uh, there'll be more episodes coming your way soon with uh, as interesting as conversations as the one that I just had with Carter. So uh, thanks, everybody, and goodbye.